Jennifer Morris, everybody. Jennifer Morris. Jennifer, Jennifer. Well, you look lovely. Thank you. You look lovely, and welcome to the show. I, I must say, it must, it must be very nice to work on that house show. It is. It's a, very, it it's a big is. hit show, that house. Yeah, isn't it? we cut people all the time. <laughs> we cut people here, but it, it's for a different reason. <laughs> Do you have a nice time working? My friend Hugh Laurie works on that I show. I love Hugh Laurie. I don't like him so much, you but he like works that. on this one. Yeah. You know, yes, yeah. we come from a similar place. I've known him for a long time, so I pretend to like yeah. him. Well, <laughs> show business. So. I actually had to tell you, the woman who does his hair, Diana, she has a big crush on you. Really? Yeah. He said that when he was here, too. Oh, did he tell you that? No. 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 <laughs> See, I got the ends for you. Yeah, you that's good to crush. know. We work these late hours, and you're always on in the trailer. Oh, yeah. of course, yeah. yes. That's just nice to know who she your audience is. She likes your haircut. Oh. <laughs> See, when you work in a hospital show, yeah. do, you, do you start thinking that you're a doctor and everything? Do you start getting all... Or do you start getting, like, paranoid that you've got diseases Yeah, you definitely and stuff? get more paranoid. Do I you mean, really? Yeah, I mean, I, well, I guess I have. I, I mean, I was... When we first started the show, I read all these books, which I thought was going to be this great idea for beginning into my character and being a good actor. And basically, I just got paranoid because it was all these doctors talking about how... They don't really have an answer. They're just kind of doing trial and error, and you what know, doctors don't really know very much. Well, they well they've obviously know a lot, but it's like you, there's no like pill for everything. There's no surgery for everything. There's sort of a lot of trial and error that goes on, which obviously you see on House. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I. But know, House is doing most of the pills actually. They're looking at. Yeah, exactly. I wonder if this will help by diagnosis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. I, I I can't diagnose it, but I no longer care. <laughs> Basically, as long as you're taking Vicodin, everything's yeah. fine. So, um, <laughs> yeah, it's true. No, it's not. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was meant to get my wisdom teeth out. I had it all scheduled and everything, and then I got paranoid and cancelled it. Really? I well, what happens if you don't get your your mouth may become huge and impacted? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> it might end up in action <laughs> movies. <laughs> ah, I'm great. You could be governor of California. <laughs> That would be great. Yeah. Now listen, is it true you just got engaged as well? Is I that did. Right? Congratulations. Thank you. That was lovely for you. Oh, yeah. oh, very nice. That's lovely. Is that antique? No, it's actually new, but it's really vintage. Looks a little old. It's yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. So uh, what what does your uh, fiance do then? What is he? Well, he's on the show. Oh, good old. Uh, yes, yes, Jesse Spencer. So. Oh, congratulations. Of course, he's one of my favorites. <laughs> So it's uh, it's been really cool. He's we we had an interesting engagement process because he little did I know he wanted to propose a long time ago. Right. Um, we went on a trip to Costa Rica and he was going to propose and then I got mono. Mono. So he couldn't propose there. How did you get the mono? Um, I don't really know. Yeah. I I don't know. What is mono? I mean, you're an actress who plays a doctor. What is a mono? <laughs> Great. I, is it something you have to be on your own for? Is that no. why it's called mono or what? I, know what it is. It's glandular fever and it was, I had these like, you know, really bad sore throat. And it was All right. So he thought, oh, she doesn't look that good right now. I won't marry her. Or <laughs> right. what? Well, he felt bad. He's like, I can't do it while she's got mono. Then he wanted to take me camping, but we went on a Thanksgiving weekend and it was freezing cold, you know, so it was Too like, cold to ask you to marry. Basically, we were like, you know, our noses were running and we're shivering and our tea bag froze to the stone. And we were, oh, right. forget it. Oh, when your tea bag freezes, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Yeah. You don't you don't want to get married to a guy with a frozen tea bag, do no, you don't. You get yourself a full grown man with thawed out tea bags. Uh, <laughs> Gotta have a hot tea bag. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Anyway, so yeah, so then basically <laughs> So basically, uh, we were left with, with, he had to wait then until Christmas when we could take a trip. And, oh, right. And he okay, ended up then. proposing in Paris, and it was very romantic. Oh, in Paris. Oh, how yeah, lovely. Yeah. That's very romantic. Yeah, it was great. And are you going to go and live in Paris together and uh, wear striped shirts? And, and yeah, stuff? that's so funny. Yeah, no, I don't think, I don't think we can right. do I don't think the show would let us do that. I mean, no, maybe no, we could start wearing stripes on the show. I mean, well, somewhat. good luck with that, <laughs> I say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jennifer Morrison, everybody. We'll be right back. We'll be right back.
now I just want to talk about that. How did that go? With the prostate exam? Yeah. Oh, they start when you're 40. Really? Yeah, I'm 52 now. I'm like a veteran. Do you have to, do you have to sit in a special way or? Yeah. Yeah. If you want to get the handsome doctor, yeah. <laughs> Yeah.